Readings by Unique Taurians. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general weekly focus uh, reading for all of my bulls for the week of October 6th uh, to the 13th, 2015. Uh, before I begin uh, your reading, I wish to thank my uh, new subscribers. And of course, uh, you know, thank all the wonderful people who continue to support my channel and the work that I am doing. I am full of gratitude, appreciation, and I feel truly blessed. Thank you so much. Uh, so if there is anyone interested in either securing a reading with me or interested in knowing which deck I am using, uh, just please expand the show more uh, link underneath the video. All right. So let's get right into this reading for my bulls for the week coming up October 6th to the 13th, 2015. Your overall energy, the energy you're going to be carrying for most of you. And keep in mind that these uh, messages will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. You have the Two of Pentacles in the uh, upright. Two of Pentacles is all about uh, performing balance in X. Uh, and this could be related to any area that's out of balance in your life. Uh, relationship uh, could be a friendship. It could be something that's going on in your family. Uh, you know, uh, job situation. It's a balancing act that some of you, I feel, will be trying to accomplish by the end of the week. But I feel overall you will accomplish uh, restoring some balance back into your life. Also, too, I feel that the Two of Pentacles shows up to um, also um, indicate. It's indicative to me that some of you need to be a, a aware and you know more mindful of your spending uh the coins and i'm also going to apply this to a work situation so some of you may feel out of sorts or out of balance in terms of your work situation but i feel it's just a major juggling act that you have to do in terms of uh you know family relationships friendships uh this is going to be like a sort of like a test week uh for you to juggle things and to make things um you know, work in your favor, but you will achieve uh, restoring that balance. I feel by the end of the week, uh, do keep in mind if I didn't say it that, you know, these messages will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. Um, I have to stress that. But I also uh, just to touch base on this work issue that I feel that some of you may feel, um, you know, going into the week and some of this energy I'm feeling right now uh, is that you may feel out of balance in terms of your work situation. Um, the message is coming in again strongly for my bulls to be mindful of their spending. It's coming in real strong. So be mindful of your spending this week. Um, try to avoid uh, big ticket purchases this particular week. Uh, so it may not be, you know, that your money is right and, you know, you want to, you know, jump on something that you see that might be on sale. Uh, it's not a good week to uh, to act on that. So but the overall energy for all of my bulls this week is the juggling and balancing things out. However, you know, the situation relates to you. I just feel that there's a lot of juggling going on. OK, and you will restore balance by the end of the week. Recent past, we have the five of pentacles in the uh, reverse. Uh, recent past for me is uh, like yesterday going back to about a month. And I feel that with the five of pentacles in the uh, reverse, this is also indicative, uh, you know, in connection with the two of pentacles as the overall energy for you is that mindful, be mindful of your spending that some of you may have spent freely in the past. Uh, and now the situation that, you know, the, the credit card bills are coming in or, you know, you, you may have purchased that big ticket item. And I feel that there might be some sort of regret, uh, because of it. Also too, I feel in connection with, um, your work situation where I felt that some of you going into the week of October 6th to the 13th will feel like you're, you know, um, out of balance. And it could be that you might have been having some issues with uh, your coworkers or whatever. Uh, I'm picking up that strongly. And we are getting the pinnacle. So that's uh, Earth sign energy, Taurus, 
uh, Capricorns and Virgos. So you may have been dealing with individuals. If it's not within a relationship, uh, then it could be, you know, someone in your family or, you know, uh, your coworkers. But I'm picking up coworkers uh, that you may have had issues with that was an earth sign like yourself. Also, two to fives always represent loss. So this is why I say that some of you may have made that big ticket purchase and now you're, you're going through some sort of regret uh, in doing so. So the two of pentacles as your overall energy is restoring that balance, uh, whether it's financial, um, you know, relationship wise, uh, friendship, job, it doesn't matter, family situation. It's about restoring that balance that sort of was thrown off a of balance in the recent past. Uh, so the five of pentacles is always indicative of a loss, but it's in the reverse. And when the fives always show up in a reverse in a reading for me, at least that means that something has taken place and now it's cleared away. And now it's like a fresh start. So recent past is moving beyond you. Whatever took past or excuse me, whatever took place in the recent past regarding any losses uh, related to money. Uh, I just feel that when it comes in terms of a relationship, <laughs> excuse me, I'm not sensing that because I don't remember what I said for you uh, for the month of um, October regarding love and relationships. And I don't even remember what I said for you for the last weekly reading. But I do feel that there was some sort of loss associated with um, possibly buying something um, that was a big ticket item. And now there's some sort of regret. Uh, I'm thinking more or less that, uh, you know, you should have held off or you're thinking that you should have held off and, you know, waited for uh, either the situation or the item to go on sale or at another time or a moment. Uh, so the tool is to restore that balance and that loss. And I feel that there was some sort of complications with some of you uh, related to a work situation coming from a coworker that could have been an earth sign like yourself. Uh, but it's a fresh start with the uh, card in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse. So there's something that already occurred and now it's a clearing. So anytime the five shows up, like I said before, in the reverse, it's a fresh start, a new beginning, at least for my readings. Anyway, moving into the middle of the week, we have the star card in the upright. It's a major arcana, and I always associate major arcanas with major life events. And this card is a good card to have in the upright position because it's all about hopes and dreams and wishes coming to tr uh, to pass and fruition. And so whatever it is that you're hoping uh, to uh, achieve during this week and it could be just achieving that balance that I just spoke of uh, in any area that's been affected in the recent past that was out of balance so that's why the star car shows up for you and then there's you know applying it to other messages anything that you were hoping to um, gain it's just all about making your dreams come true with this uh, star card so um, whatever wishes that you have I feel that some of you will either achieve some sort of fulfillment and yeah, I just feel like a, some sort of achievement or some, I'm getting the word inspiration that some of you want to be inspired. Um, however, these messages relate to you and what's significant to you and what's close to your heart. It could be a relationship. It could be, you know, a um, family situation or a job. But the wish card it's not really the wish card. It's the star card, which is all about wishes and hopes and dreams and stuff and aspirations and inspiration. So I feel that some of you are going to be feeling this way during the midweek. Uh, whatever is close to your heart is sort of like a fulfillment or wishes being granted. Okay. Now, the end card for you is the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse, the outcome card for you, uh, Taurus, uh, is a good card to have because whatever situation that you've dealt with in the recent past and whatever. Um, you know, struggles or battles that you've had with, uh, you know, possibly your significant other or, you know, family situation, friends, co-workers. Uh, 
it's coming to an end. The Seven of Wands in the reverse means that that struggling and that conflict and stuff is over. It's going to be passing you and basically brighter days and happier days are coming your way. Uh, and I say that because of the star being in the middle. It's just getting to that uh, end of dealing with any struggles that you may have had if it was related to work, a relationship, friendship, or job. Okay. So it's not really a bad week. Uh, I just feel like the overall energy is about restoring balance and trying to juggle many things. Um, but you will achieve and be successful. Whatever the situation is that is close to your heart, you will achieve it. So that's good. Your supporting fairy oracle card is a uh, snail's pace. And on this card, it says slow down, um, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth and subtle energies. So that's a good supportive message uh, for my bulls this week is to, you know, take things slowly. Uh, if you're trying to restore some balance into your life or back into your life, just take it slow and you will achieve and be successful with the star card and the, any conflicts or struggles internal or, you know, external uh, that they will be passing you by the end of the week. And it should turn out to be a pretty good week for some of you. All right, so that's what I have for um, my unique bulls for the week of October 6th to the 13th. Once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. Uh, until the next time, I wish you all a very safe week, and uh, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.